Well, really, you have three decisions. You either hold, do nothing, and um, wait for the market to return. You average down, which is what most investors would do, whether they're day trading or um, are long in the position. You average down to give yourself an exit or to give yourself more profit on the next bull run. Or B, you just sell and move on. YouTube. So over the weekend, um, I know that we got a spike in Dogecoin, but I received a lot of questions, like actually more than normal as far as for a lot of the FUD that's going around, um, what's going on with Dogecoin and is Dogecoin dead? And I normally get these questions, I actually get these questions probably probably about every day, but it's this weekend was just an abnormal amount. And maybe I haven't done a good enough job like explaining it because I know I've went over like the ranges as far as crashes and how the market has rhythms and they rise and fall together. But today I'm going to really just focus on this topic in itself because normally I say these things, but it's a video based on like a, a grander picture. So today I'm just going to focus on those specifics. And instead of just explaining it to you, I'm going to do some comparisons that are in the market and also show you some charts so that you can see them for yourself and also give you a point of reference that you can um, go and validate these things for yourself. So I'm going to first I'm going to show you as far as that the market does rise and fall in rhythms. And I'm going to include this in this video here so that hopefully if you can see um, I did a comparison between Bitcoin, uh, Litecoin and Ethereum. If you look at the video, you'll see that when the market rises, they all rise together. And when the market uh, consolidates, they all consolidate together. And when it rises again, they all rise together. And this is certainly an indicator that typically that you can use from like bull markets, bear markets, um, aggressive, uh, pullback and the cor uh, correction is normally the indicators that you can use. And typically you want to identify that with your anchor. And in the crypto world, everybody knows that that anchor is going to be Bitcoin. And some of my previous videos, um, I identify this as saying that I would only be worried about Dogecoin if the market shifted around in the case like the video you just saw and everything was beginning to rise and Dogecoin, it had like no effect on Dogecoin. That's when I would be con uh, concerned. But as far as for the market consolidating and Dogecoin consolidating with the market, that is completely normal. There is nothing to be concerned about. Like there's no reason for um, the entire crypto market to be down and Dogecoin to be just going to the moon and stacking up you know new highs every week like that's not how it works and again i know that a lot of you are new investors so that's why i'm making this video and hopefully i can explain this in a way that it doesn't cause panic and it's not the continuation of every week or every time dogecoin takes a day oh my god what's going on with dogecoin that's not how it works i also want to talk about as far as for being patient because i know some people may have uh, bought in on dogecoin um, specifically because a lot of the hype that was going around it or they bought in a little high and they're expecting a return on their investment or if it doesn't move soon enough then of course the whole thing was like a scam and I've seen that we've already started the um, the post online saying that oh if Dogecoin hits a dollar or 30 cents they'll eat a dog turd and stuff like that people are taking screenshots so you know be careful when you make those kinds of claims because I'm going to prove to you here typically that um, when a coin consolidates and it can consolidate for a while actually before you start to even see a bull run or even it break its previous highs but typically they do and you just want to be careful about the things that you say so I'm going to put some pictures up here and I'm going to show you that um, Bitcoin hit a peak of I believe around like 19,000 in December of 2018 and then it consolidated and it actually uh, it had some bull runs as far as in between uh, uh, 2018 and 2020 but it did not break that previous high until around December of 2020 which is a full two years later and I want to just put this into perspective here because people have invested and you know Dogecoin rallied you know a little over 11,000 percent this year and it's been a few months and everybody's like panicking saying that oh my god it's dead or it's a scam and I, the reason I use Bitcoin, I'm using on um, the chart, I'm going to use Ethereum and Litecoin so that you can all see how they rise and fall together. But this isn't abnormal. 
and you can't i know you're invested in dogecoin i know you were heavily invested in dogecoin but you cannot expect dogecoin to be the exception when you have these market trends the market has rhythms and they're pretty much just ground to like the laws as far as like of the market and when money inflows into the market whether that's institutional or what's going on with the economy because we do have inflation surging the market in itself has been doing corrections i believe right now at the time of this recording the video the dow is down by over 900 points you cannot expect those to go against the grain like that's you have to kind of look at the market and understand what a pullback is what a correction is and the timing of the market and you have to look at things like overbought and oversold i talked about this last night in one of my groups when you look at these things it'll help you execute and make better decisions and it'll also help you not panic dogecoin peaked at around uh 19,000 in about december of 2018. it consolidated all the way down to about three thousand dollars and did not break that previous high and until another two years and i want you to think about that when you're dealing with crypto and your investments before you start seeing things are a scam and um you know it's, it's a rug pull and all these other kinds of names but when you look at the market and I, I love using bitcoin because everybody believes that um, bitcoin is immortal and um dogecoin is you know like the stepchild or whatnot so i use bitcoin so that everyone can understand this no matter if you're a dogecoin believer or not when you look at the charts you see that historically these consolidations are typically harsh and steep and they take a while to break their previous highs. Now, I'm not saying that it can't be, it can't happen sooner, but I'm just using this example that if it can happen to Bitcoin, and we all know that Bitcoin controls the market of crypto, if it can happen to Bitcoin, you can best believe that it can happen to any of the other cryptos. We know, I, I've talked about this in a number of my videos, we know that the corrections are typically 50 to 80% of their um, all-time high price. They consolidate. They stay there for a while and then they rally to an all time high again. This is the cycle that has been set up for years. So when you have these things, instead of saying that, oh, um, you know, Dogecoin is dead or you're expecting it to do something miraculous that hasn't been done in the marketing, just go against the grain altogether. What I'm doing um, again, do your own due diligence and make your own decisions. What I'm doing is I mean, I said this before, I'm building up my coin count because I believe that the market will rally again together as it always has done and whether dogecoin goes to a dollar or you know dollar 50 whatever the case may be it won't matter for me because my dca will be at these lows at the peak that at the um, lows that we're seeing here now so if my dca is you know 18 cents 17 cents even if it, even if my dca was 14 cents I would average it down to wherever the low point is because that's what as a long-term investor and as someone that believes as far as in doge that's what i'm going to do i'm going to say hey i'm here for a long term there's no reason for me to if doge consolidates at 17 cents for six months there's no reason for me to have my 40 cents dca and be upset with doge and then it rallies again and when i could have just brought my dca down and had even more profit or been farther in the gains on the next bull run because that's the point of looking at charts and history to kind of see where you're at and get an indicator for what's most likely to happen again. So I just showed you the charts. By all means, do your, DC, uh, do your own uh, due diligence and come up with a conclusion about what do you think is most likely to happen when the market rallies again. If you look at the charts and for whatever reason, um, you say that, okay, uh, Dogecoin is the exception and it's not going to rally with the crypto market, then sell. Like it's not, it, it doesn't make a difference as far as for um you staying mad and, and using your emotions whether that's to um, spread fud or attack people in the community about uh, doge and as far as like moving on no we all know that doge has made its way into being one of the main catalysts for the cryptocurrency and that's why we consistently see all the um knockoffs and all the attacks on doge um, baby doge little doge um, hell it probably be a big doge and, you know these things will continue to happen because doge is in a position that so many cryptos want to be in and if you don't believe as far as like in doge there's no reason for attacking the community we have the uh, charts we have history we have points of reference to say that the cryptos are going to rise together and if for some reason that it doesn't then we can adjust it as far as look at you know as far as what's going on and go from there but as far as far as doge performing that in the historical range that it has been there's no reason for panic
Doge consolidated with the market. That's normal. Doge consolidated within the 50 to 80 percent window. That's normal. Doge has stayed consolidated and it's had some peaks and rallies, uh, a little peaks and rallies um, as far as for in the consolidation period. That's also normal. But as far as for I invested in Doge and because I invested in Doge a month ago, this thing was supposed to be going to the moon. Why is Doge down? I don't care about what's going on in the world. I don't care about inflation. I don't care that the entire crypto market is down. My money is in Doge. Therefore, Doge should be just going to the moon. That's not how it works. And when you have that type of mentality, I encourage you to do due diligence. Look at things like charts like this so that you can put your mind at rest. And if you're just an emotional investor, then I don't think that investing is for you, whether it's Dogecoin or anything, because all markets, all stocks have these uh, rhythms, they have cycles, and you have to learn them and educate yourself in these and say, okay, hey, if I bought in on the high side and it didn't rally right when I thought it was, you make a decision. You have two decisions. Well, really, you have three decisions. You either hold, do nothing, and um, wait for the market to return. You average down, which is what most investors would do, whether they're day trading or um, are long in the position. You average down to give yourself an exit or to give yourself more profit on the next bull run. Or B, you just sell and move on. Like and you take it as a loss and then you move on and just say, you know, hey, I made a mistake and, you know, I didn't analyze properly. And then you call it that like people, people, um, you know, they move on from investments. That's fine. But as far as for attacking the community, really with just emotions, because you people that say these things, um, I would love to hear something historical that they can actually prove to say that um, Dogecoin won't rally again or won't rally with the market. I would love to hear it. But when you invest with your emotions, typically you're going to always end up disappointed. I'm not going to make this video long because I can go on about charts, rallies and cycles, but I just wanted to give you some um, charts for like point of reference. And so also that you can do your own due diligence, because ultimately it's up to you as far as what you decide to do with your money. But when you see these things and you see the um, the market shifting around, you know, make a decision. OK, hey, I don't have any more money, but I'm going to wait. I'm a long time believer in Doge. That's fine. And if you are done with the Doge, you know, sell, move on. That's fine. And if you are an investor and you say, hey, you know, I still believe in Doge, you know, you look at the charts and you come up with your um, plan of action, average down. And, and like that's like if you talk to any investor that is heavily because uh, I don't believe in selling for a loss and most investors don't. So when you have a consolidation point, even if it's you know, okay, you'll say, hey, I'm not even going to wait for the next bull run. I'm done with Doge, but I want to exit without taking a loss. Average down and on the next spike you get out. Like th this is all, th this is not new. This is all things that traders use, uh, people use as far as long terms when they want to move their positions. You know, it's fine. You have to make the, de the decision that's best for your household. But the fear and the FUD and the attacking that I'm seeing going on in the community, it's not necessarily. And I don't believe it has grounds to actually stand on because we don't have any evidence to say that dogecoin is going to go against the grain in the next bull run i hope you found this video useful if you have please share it with someone who probably needs some encouragement with dogecoin or who needs to look at some of the charts and come up with a conclusion as far as for their decisions moving forward um, i believe that a lot of people um, have i believe i'm seeing like a lot of impatience right now so i believe that if people were able to see some evidence and compare it to other things outside of dogecoin and educate themselves on the market, I believe that it will help them tremendously and help the community as well. If you'd like to um, follow me as far as on Twitter or Instagram, I'll have those links in the description box below. I'll possibly put them on the, uh, the screen as well. And if you're looking for a new brokerage, I do recommend Webull. Um, now, if you open an account with just $5, you'll get two free stocks valued at up to $2,000. And that's only for the month of July. I also have a link for the um, Webull promotion in the description as well. Hope you found value in this video. Please uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you and until next time.